I decided after this morning I didn't feel like playing a bunch of medium decks because they were memes, so I'm just playing the queue from the top down, which is starting with uh, the Four Color Geist deck, which I think is very good. So, so we'll win a few games if we don't run into too many Blood Moons. Now, it basically just comes up every time there's a major tournament with like really bad viewer numbers, and believe it or not, we had another one of those this past weekend. Uh, you can prime sub from Android devices. You, however, cannot prime sub from iOS devices unless you log into your Twitch account on your on your mobile browser. Nice, say so. Yeah, honey, honey's good stuff. Good, good stuff. going on sun temple of mystery uh so could be a brew could also be uh amulet titan has played this card historically speaking in the past I've seen that it's definitely a card that i've seen in that archetype before this is uh, i think this is actually card for card what we played last time i'm gonna wait a hot second on this faithless today i'm not quite sure what they're playing yet so i don't know what cards i need and what cards i don't need Geist and Souls on a spooky deck. Thank you, Steam Flogger, for the 14 months. Welcome back. Yeah, it smells like, smells like Amulet Titan. Which probably means I'm going to fetch Shock. Yeah, definitely Amulet Titan. So we're going to fetch Shock and then bolt them here. Jerry One Worlds, yeah. Then I will likely be Shocking in... Um, this Hollowed Fountain next turn, and then Snap Bolting them, assuming they don't give us something to Path to Exile. Or I'm just going to go ahead and jam that down their throat. Ding. Yeah, this one's been fine. I don't know, fine's probably the word I would use to describe it. Geist, Geist was a great pickup here, because it lets us, lets us have a really quick clock here, and the Path to Exile can disrupt them a little bit. Pete Head, two years of memes, streams, and streams. What a ride it's been. Thank you for the 24 months. Thanks for the tier two sub too. I appreciate that. Be sure to drop me a message and let me know which deck in the queue you'd like to bump up for that as always. My tier two subs support me a little bit extra so they get to have a little bit more dictation of what goes on in the queue. I don't think they can tighten us this turn. So even if they go like land into Azusa, double bounce land off the Azusa is only four more mana. So I believe we should be safe from Titan this turn. And then on the back of Path, Snap Path, hopefully, hopefully this Geist can run the game down. Excited for some afternoon Hoagland. What's going on, Bionic? Thank you for the 13 month reset at the tier three level. Remember, tier three subs are exempt from the slow, so you're able to still add a deck to the queue using the form down below, or you can, as always, bump a large deck in the queue. That sounds incredibly slow and fair for modern OCD guy. I don't know that I'd play this deck at SCG Con. I, uh, I personally don't enjoy losing to the card Blood Moon, and this deck is not stellar against Blood Moon. But there also aren't a lot of Blood Moons in the format, so if you don't mind losing that card on occasion, it's probably a fine choice. I think it's doing some objectively powerful things. It's got a good mix of quality answers and interaction. No, it does not break your streaks, all three. I did. I went to the gym, I came home, I took a shower, I cleaned the house a little bit. It was a good, it's a good afternoon. I always feel better after I go to the gym. It's weird, your body, body likes to exercise. If streaks break, you have to start over from the start, Saw 3. That is, is in fact how it works. So I'm going to go ahead and let this happen. I'm going to let their trigger resolve before they before they know that I'm pathing them. I like the small blue splash, Pierce. I'm a pretty big fan of the small blue splash. I feel like it gives you just a little bit extra protection like tools for different places. 
All right, so they're getting they're getting Teleria West plus a Simic Growth Chamber here. Uh, Colin, thank you for resubbing. Um, when you resub, you need to refresh your browser page to send the notification through with the message. It's a bug on Twitch's part, basically. So they have a uh, green. They must have Boros Garrison in their hand then. Yeah, it's optic. The mod sword comes with the streak. I found out I had 10 bits lying around. Well, thank you, Saw3. I appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If they didn't if they didn't have a way to make the Primeval Titan have haste, obviously I would snap bolt them here. But since they can give this haste when they get to enter combat, I'm gonna path that obviously. So they have a Teleria West in their hand at the moment. They have Teleria West plus X. They have a Summoner's Pack they have to pay for next turn, but that doesn't really matter. So this is important. I want to play this Path to Exile in response to this Transmute, because if I let this resolve, they're going to get Pact of Negation, and I'm not going to be able to kill this Titan. Yeah, of course. Questions are great. If I... Fair warning, a lot of times people ask about decks we're not currently playing. My response is go back and look at the video because I always do a wrap-up section at the end. Yeah, Legacy Legacy turned me into a giant pillar of salt this morning and we won't be revisiting it again anytime soon. Yeah, this is this is a, it's a tempo deck. Play your threat, protect your threat, burn them out, etc., etc. So they got another Summoner's Pact, and this is one of the reasons why the opponent's deck is so good, is because they basically play Squadron Titan. Every every one of their every one of their Titans gets more Titans. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna do Legacy in general for less than a fifty dollar donation anymore. I don't think. I accepted a couple of tier three. I accepted a tier three sub to do Black Red Reanimator, and then we had the Vintage deck in the queue for forever. I just it's just, it's just not worth it. I lose too much money at that point because the, the queue is just so expensive. That's very frustrating. Keep doing you, bud. Thanks for re-upping that Twitch Prime, Colin. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me employed here. Uh, it's exclamation point deck queue is the command you're looking for or bit.ly forward slash deck queue for a shortcut. Uh, I played some this afternoon while I was at the gym. I lost most of my qualifier matches. I think it put me into bronze. It was not a, it was not a good scene. Legacy, mod, Legacy is very different from Modern. Modern is a format that doesn't have good cantrips in it, and it's a format that uh, prison decks aren't particularly good in. And in my opinion, those are good things, but there are people that specifically like those types of play patterns. And if you're one of those people, then Legacy is definitely the format for you. Like, Legacy, Legacy is the format that you should be playing if you like those types of play patterns. That is a... That's a big gal. That's a, that's a big gal. I'm not dead, right? I don't think I'm dead. Scorch, thank you for the seven months. I appreciate that and welcome back. Yeah, it was just, there was a lot of things that stack up against legacy as far as streaming goes, like, in addition to there being less variety in the decks that are competitive, it's more expensive to play, it's less popular for viewers. It's just like, it's just a bad decision for me to do it. Should stay away from it. I like to dabble in constructed. Um, 
Honestly, my answer is always the same. It's just like find a couple of decks that feel interesting to you and then then proxy them and always always try before you buy. There's there's so many things you can play in modern that like play play style preference definitely is a big part. They could have another Titan here, right? Maybe I should have waited until Maybe I should have waited until they they got to combat. Yeah, I probably should have waited on the snap path. What are you telling me? Um, I you oh, Daddy can't come upstairs right now. He's working, bud. Uh -oh, I hide. You gotta hide. Do you hear your mother coming? Are you going to be good? Mm -hmm. Okay, if you're loud, you have to go upstairs if you're talking a lot, okay? okay. Are you going to sit nicely here? Mm -hmm. Okay, if you sit nicely, you I, can stay. I, oh. I play down here. No, you can't play down here. Why? You got to play upstairs. You could play upstairs. Mommy's got a whole bunch of stuff upstairs for you. Lots of lots of toys. Collective uh, brutality. I guess this is pretty okay here. Helix is pretty bad. Um, I think you're supposed to bring in the negate slash counter squalls in this matchup because half their titans are instants. Do you want to play with my wallet? Yeah. Okay, you have to go upstairs if you want to play with it though. Okay. <laughs> Daddy, I'm going to take your cards out here. Okay, just don't lose them. Take them upstairs. Take them upstairs. All right, so we got three more cuts here. We definitely want foam, damping sphere. Someone asked, why not stifle bird? My answer to that question is look at, look at my three column here. I have so many threes in this deck already. It just doesn't fit nicely into what the curve is doing. I think damping, I think Alpine Moon for their haste land is too narrow. I think it just like doesn't quite do enough. You mentioned lingering souls. That grind aspect is not is not particularly interesting. Yeah, they're getting they're getting big. Declan Declan's three and a half. He told you he was going to hide from Christie, so we weren't on the same team, right? All right, we're going to have some Jeff to... I'm probably going to be crapping on people responding to these things, um, responding to these coverage comments throughout the course of tonight's stream, but, like, that's part of the fun, right? Comparing magic to a... Magic, a card game, to a game you find engaging to simply watch that has live action in it is silly in my opinion. Look at look at how polite I am here. I'm saying I'm using the word silly instead of telling them they're stupid. That's the that's the polite way to do this, right? Comparing magic, a card game, to a game you find engaging to simply watch that is live action and it is silly in my opinion. The most important thing you can take away from Jeff to social media, read your tweets back before you hit send. You won't catch all of your errors, but you'll catch more of them. This hand's tough. Uh, Jacob. Jacob is my older one. So, like, I have three lands, but I can't cast Geist to St. Trash here is the issue. So I need another blue or white source. I think this hand's just not good enough. Can't need some lands, but it's pretty good otherwise. Let's keep it on the draw with the scribe. Uh, Jake is four and a half. They're 15 months apart. So they're like, Jake's a little over four and a half and Declan's about three and a half. I donate for you to write my tweets. I don't know about that. Uh, no, I don't believe so, CD guy.
So not only so two things. One, uh, Geist of Saint Traft is the type of card where if it stays in play, you're probably going to win the game. Two, you have four copies of Faithless Looting in this deck, which means you can loot away extra copies should you draw extra copies against a deck that can't interact with it. It's probably probably just dead at this point. It's probably not a matchup I can afford to miss in. If we hit a land here, we might be okay, but... All right, let's just uh, move along with our low variance game here. We have, we have 20, I think about 23 or 24 lands and Faithless Looting, so I think this is a fine keep. I think this hand has a lot of the spells that we're interested in having. I think it's 23. Yeah, 23 plus 4 Lootings. We're pretty likely to hit by, by 3 there on the draw with a scry. No, I'm just live again. I I was a, I was a big silly and agreed to play some Legacy this morning, and it left me in just a really foul mood because I don't enjoy that format. So I took a break and I came back streaming. Streaming while I'm annoyed is not a not a good scene. It's not good content. Uh, yeah, I'm in for a counter squall. I think. I'm not sure I understand what you mean, Armored Shoes. By just makes it harder. It's a di they're different decks. Like, this deck really isn't comparable to Black Green Rock, other than that, like, they're both decks that don't have combos in them. Get to curve, Counter Squall into Geist here. Pretty happy to just negate this. Just like slow you down a little bit. Play him a threat, run you out of the game. Uh, I play formats that I don't normally play on stream for $100 donations. Everything everything on this channel is viewer driven. So the people, the people that support my gun content dictate what we do and when we do it. They're great. They, they keep me employed, so it's only fair that they get to pick what we do. Hey, Gab Jag, thank you for the thank you for the three month reset there. I appreciate that. Welcome back. No, I don't think I don't think there's like one card fixes to those decks issues. I think, I think control is just like not particularly good in modern. Because it's a format that this format generally rewards you for being proactive, and those decks are definitely like not proactive. I don't, I still don't understand your question, Armored, because again, like, you're comparing decks that are just, like, very different to this, so I don't, I don't get what you're, what you're implying. Are you, like, asking why add a fourth color it'd be Jeskai, or, like, why play another color and not just be, like, Grixis, or what's the, I don't, I don't get what you're asking me. Why Pumpkins, thank you for the two-month resubscription there. I appreciate that, welcome back. I put Unmoored Ego in this deck, I don't know, maybe it's better than the Alpine Moon I have in the sideboard. Yeah, I could see Unmoored Ego potentially being better than the Alpine Moon I have in my sideboard at the moment. I'm gonna cast looting here because I really don't need a fifth land. Those are those are decent. Those are decent. Definitely want to keep the path to exile here. Again, just want to like be able to take a Titan off the table. Uh, there's a deck list on your screen via the Stream Decker widget. If you're on a platform that doesn't have access to that for some reason, you can type exclamation point deck in chat to get a link to the deck list. Probably just getting like a second blood crypt here. Oops, and it bail off. That's annoying. Like what? If there isn't really a Geist deck in the format though. So like you're implying I've like taken a deck and made changes to it to arrive at the deck list that I'm at. And I just don't think that that's true. I think this deck that I'm playing just like kind of started from like just a slate full of good cards that I wanted to be playing. Like, like if you look back on like the results from recent tournaments, like there hasn't been... A, a Geist deck that's play, been played consistently for a very long time.
I definitely agree. Like when you're when you're building or making changes to an established deck, you want to be like solving problems that the established deck has. That was a great draw. Um, but like this deck didn't start from. I didn't like take a Jeskai deck and like add black to it. I didn't take a Grixis deck and add white to it. Like like I started. I started with a viewer submitted deck that already had four colors in it. We've been working from there because the original four color submitted deck felt good. It is a comma three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, it's a comma next turn. Yeah, yeah, I don't think this deck is anything like spirits. That would feel like a weird comparison to me. I think this deck's definitely more akin to Jeskai or Grixis potentially, but I don't think it's close enough to either of the established versions of those decks that I would I would take this as, as like a different version of that. You could you could even argue that it's like close to Mardu too. And you could argue that Geist kind of fixes one of Mardu's issues, which is that Mardu has trouble closing games occasionally. And like Geist really takes that and runs with it. Sure. I think Spirits lots more. I think Spirits is just one of the 40 or 50 different decks that exists in modern that you should expect to play against. Of course you can have a complimentary timeout. It's complimentary. You can't run out of them. I know the last card in their hand, right? I feel like I know the last card in their hand. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a good way, a good way to look at it, Big Mama. This is a this is a card that I would describe as like a two or a ten card. Like when it's good, it's unbeatable, and when it's bad, it's unplayable. And honestly, playing it in a deck that gets leverage Faithless Looting really helps mitigate that issue. Kind of like the same way Blood Moon is, right? Like Blood Moon and Mardu Pyromancer, like Blood Moon's kind of mediocre against a lot of decks in Modern right now, but there's also a subset of decks where it's just like absurd. So like by playing it alongside Faithless Looting, you get to have it when it's good, and when it's not good, you don't worry about it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and send this Dorko on a path to exile. I'm gonna hang tight on this Culligan's command here. I believe their last land is a bounce land, which means if they put the bounce land in and pick this up at the end of my turn, I'm gonna get to shock this and make them discard the Teleria West. Oh, their last card is Bog. It totally is Bog, isn't it? You're super, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna flashback Faithless Looting then actually. That is deal. And without a amulet in play here, we're like pretty safe from anything too absurd. Like obviously if they rip a good one, we're gonna have to like rip a good one back here, but without them ripping a good one, we're gonna be in an okay spot. about overrated i don't know that anybody's been talking about spirits like it's something super busted and just like you know it's one of the it's, been, it's another it's another deck that's been introduced to the format that, like you can play if you like it well they're not technically dead on board but they're dead to the card in our hand you are correct so dead dead on board implies that they're dead to cards that are currently in play but you are right if they don't uh they don't do anything here I wonder if I'm not supposed to flash back Faithless Lootings. So I could like K-Command them during the draw step. All right, so we'll do this on their upkeep. Lilypad Swag, thank you for the six month resub there. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you for the continued support. Thanks for the half a year. Are you dead? Uh, this is our... This is match... Game three, match one. So, we should be 1-0 here in a second. Bob said GG's. Good game's opponent. And didn't play the second Geist. What a punt. What a punt. Good evening, folks. 
Get a little Hoogle after soon to be dark. You're gonna play three or four decks tonight. We'll see how these first three go. I might I might only do three. This uh this black white tokens build that someone submitted looks really sweet though, so I kinda wanna get to it tonight. Awesome, Brock. Yeah, this deck this deck seemed really this deck has seemed really sweet when we played it. Google After Dark, Chubby Grunt, thank you for the two-month resub there. Thanks for re-upping. Thanks for keeping me employed here for another month. Uh, yeah, this again, sweet. This deck also has Collective Brutalities to detect Sugar Ice to St. Trashes too as well, which is just great. Is Grishelbrand good against other linear decks? Grishelbrand is good against everything except itself. When the Grishelbrand deck is functional, nothing beats it. However, sometimes it just, like, doesn't do anything, and then you're sad. Leon Steam Vents here and pass the turn. I don't really have anything I want to discard yet, because, like, there's a chance I want this extra Geist to Saint Traft, because my opponent could have, like, counter spells or something like that. Another two of the new green, black, Vindicate. No, I don't think splashing a fifth color is where I want to be in life. The mana base in this deck is actually, like, pretty consistent from my experience playing it. So, like, splashing another thing into here doesn't seem like a particularly good plan. We could get Spell Snared here, but I think I'm supposed to go for this with the Escalate ones since I have this looting. Didn't know what I had triple pack. Pack negation is so busted when it's good. And the same thing that I've disliked about it forever, Blaze Key. Like, Legacy is just this format where you either need to, like, blue decks, prison decks, or losing with, with cute decks. And, like, that's basically what it comes up. And, like, wow, that's... That's unfortunate. Their deck has so many spells in it. Can I take a Snapcaster Mage? It's, like, basically an instant or sorcery. Good news, though, their deck basically can never beat a Geist of St. Traft, backed up by a bunch of removal. Although I guess here, if they pass the turn, I can't fetch because of this stupid bird. Man, who even plays Nimble Obstructionist? Why would you put that garbage card in your deck? Why would you? Why would you even play Nimble Obstructionist? I don't get it. That's true. If it was Mission Briefing, I could have taken it. All right, so again, the opponent's deck is basically a burn deck. And I think uh, I think we're the more controlling deck in this matchup. I think our deck is the one that as the game goes along, we're more likely to win. So I wanna be conservative with my health total here. Uh, all of the decks that I have guides written for are linked on my website, jeffhoagland.com on the deck list page. They drew mana leak, rude. It's a good pickup. Glad I have this backup Geist. I'm gonna snap. Oh, they put Serum Visions in their deck. That's gross. I believe Grishelbrand is one of the decks that has a, has a thing on it. Has a sideboard guide linked. Huh. Well, I, I, I'm gonna cast, I'm gonna cast Faithless Student to start here, but pretty sure I wanna play Geist and not. Well, that's, gosh, that is, that is just, that's just swell, chat. That's, that's just, oh, just delicious, chat. It is so, it is so nummy. Just, mm 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 mm, tasty. All right, so they have Snapcaster Mage and then a couple of cards I don't know here. Uh, I'm gonna play this out. I think I'm gonna start by Helixing this dork just cause he like burns me. Although maybe I'm supposed to hang tight on these and like kill their two power dorks cause they blocked my Geist of Saint Trash. It's also possible I should have held that fifth land since I have Faithless Lootings in my bin. Nope, I haven't touched the chat rules in a long time. I 
You can see the other videos in the playlist on my website itself, Armored Shoes. Any any of these any of these things have have the playlist right here. If you click you click this little thing in the upper left hand corner here, there's a whole playlist that pops out and you can see all the videos right there. It's good it's good technology. You can tell so you can tell I wrote it and not someone that works at Wizards of the Coast. <laughs> maybe that was a little rude. Maybe that was maybe that was a cheap shot. Block. Oh my gosh. Oh, just. Uh, it's, it's just, just everything about this deck is so beautiful when it all comes together. It's just, it's such a, it's such a treat. It's just such a, such a, such a, just a beautiful, a beautiful work of art. How, how does this deck win? I mean, we've, I've got a Geist and Lingering Souls on the table. How does it win? Got a Creeping Tar Pit. I've got some Burn Spells. What time do I normally stream to? Uh, two and a half hours ago is when I sign off. This is this is not part of my normal schedule. So you can find my normal schedule on my website. We played some Legacy this morning, and it made me a salty, salty boy. So I decided to take the take part of the morning off. So I'm back. I'm back now, making up for taking off. Didn't want to. I didn't want to just like only do like two hours today because I have to be off on Wednesday because there's downtime. Good cards do good things. Ain't that the God's honest truth? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come at me, Mutavault. What? All right, I would like to Lightning Helix this one, please. You put Spell Pierce in. Oh no. Well, now I'm really glad I didn't run Culligan's Command into that. And like, they're attacking with the Snapcaster Mage, but like, I'm at 23, right? So like, this attack seems super loose. Just like the loosiest, goosiest of attacks. Oh, geez, Chad, I just, I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know what to do with myself. Shock this one, pick this one up. Oh yeah, just give it to me, baby. I'm like, if they flash in a Snapcaster Mage to block here, it's just like, yeah, sure. Oh no, oh no. Don't lightning bolt my lingering souls that I discarded to a faithless looting. How will I ever win the game now, opponent? How will I ever win the game now? Uh, the opponent's playing an iteration of Blue Red Tempo that they put a bunch of Serum Visions into apparently. Do 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 Uh very weary, do me a favor and tag me on Discord in the post and I'll be sure to check it after I'm done streaming. I always go through and check my tags. Sometimes I miss things if I'm not tagged in them, so tag me in a post. What if I told you, what if I told you I had another Culligan's Command? How would, how would that make you feel, opponent? All right, so you're gonna like, mana leak? Oh, we're targeting Lightning Bolt, right? Cause you're dead otherwise. Discord is a messaging service. If you're an old nerd like myself, um, Discord is basically IRC for the 21st century. If that context makes sense for you. It's like, it's like if IRC was all grown up today. All right, and they're like super dead to just like what we have on board. But I'm gonna play this Geist of Saint Trash anyways. That's how we roll around here. Already DOB, no outs, play this one. 
Slack for gamers. It does more than Slack does to you, right? Slack, Slack doesn't do voice and screen sharing and that kind of stuff. Oh, does it do screen sharing now? It's, it's been a long time since I've used Slack, so I definitely am not, am not a good metric for what it does and doesn't do. Is this an Anger of the Gods matchup? This might be an Anger of the Gods matchup. I think I'm just going to trim these counter squalls and bring an Anger of the Gods. So, like, while my opponent opponent's deck has a lot of non-creature spells in it, that might or might not be, be worth countering, our role in this matchup is to be a control deck. We are we are the deck full of doom blades in this matchup. We want to make sure that nothing our opponent puts into play that's a threat ever sticks around for more than a turn or two. So I think a card like Counter Squall that doesn't help me keep the board clean is not worth having. Whereas is it Staticaster and Anger of the Gods both help me keep the board clean? I think they're my best tools in the sideboard for doing that. Just the, the mono Doom Blades matchup. Hope everyone's having a good Monday, by the way. Hope everyone had a good weekend, wherever you're at. I see in Sweet. We've got a, got a looting into a Tassiper here. Do I want a looting into a Tassiper? So, I mentioned that they're kind of a burn deck. And, like, we want to be conservative with our health total here. So, I think I'm actually going to not Tassiper this turn. Because I prefer to be a little bit conservative with my health total. I see what you did there, Frost Kitty. Uh, we are playing against a variation of Blue Red Delver. So I need to figure out what my... There's a Halimar Depths in their deck. That is... Um, that card is definitely modern legal. Def definitely a legal... A card that is legal in the format. All right, so... I think I'm getting Blood Crypt into Hollowed Fountain here. That covers most of our bases. Blood Crypt Hollowed Fountain gives us all four of our colors. Um, the question is, what am I discarding to this Collective Brutality? Because I think I want to spot check for counter spells and other stuff. So I want to give 2-2 two, two, and I want to take a peek at their hand. I know peeking at their hand last time didn't work out for us. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I want to bin here. I kind of want to bin the Faithless Looting, but at the same time, I don't have a guaranteed land for next turn. How greedy is it to bin the Faithless Looting? It's probably absurdly greedy, right? My Snapcaster Mage probably doesn't really matter. I think my Snapcaster Mage is actually the worst card here because of how tight on mana I am. Let's do that. A crater with the brand new prime support. There's a lot of great people making a lot of great stuff on Twitch. Thanks for supporting mine this month with that. We've got Dire Fleet Daredevil in their in their deck. That's sweet. It's a sweet one out of the sideboard for matches like this. I think that's pretty wrong. Just again, like going back to like what this matchup is about. I think this matchup is like very much about being able to kill all of their things and like the games we lose involve our opponent getting under us. And I think, um, what's the word I'm searching for? I think Snapcaster Mage doesn't prevent them from getting under us basically. I think I'm going to go ahead and path this and then just go ahead and delve and play this task up her here. So they have Staticaster, Dire Fleet, and Snapcaster Mage. Go ahead and do this. Getting getting the path to exile out of our bin is nice too because it means their dire fleet daredevil can't use it to kill our snapcaster mage later. Yeah. So I'm definitely going to go ahead and attack for four here. 
And then we're just like playing this faithful sleuthing, right? Yeah, we played we played some legacy to start this morning. It was just like not a good scene. Hopefully we draw a black source. Perfect. So I can ditch this lingering souls and the sacred foundry, and then I can flash back the souls. Am I flashing back the souls? They have is a Stedicaster. I'm actually not gonna flash back the souls. I'm just gonna hang tight for a hot second. I was like, I have to fetch shock to do that too, which is pretty bad. This does open me up to if they draw untapped land here, they can actually dire fleet my, they can dire fleet my souls, which could be a little bit bad for us. But like at the same time, eh. Pile of random cards. This is four color gates to St. Traft. All the modern staples you never knew you wanted all in the same deck together. Maybe attacking with this Tassiger was too aggressive here. Yeah, they're gonna flash back our souls. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I just, uh, I have a pretty firm rule that if I, I feel like I'm annoyed or upset. The content is is just like not good. So rather rather than sit here and make what is effectively bad content, I always take the day off or the morning off if I if I'm not feeling up to it. When people people send me dollar reduced to play things, they're expecting a certain caliber. If I'm if I'm just not it's not up for it. Better to take a break rather than play play frustrated. So I have static caster and two cards I don't know. These lingering souls are probably gonna kill me. That's probably a bad sequence. Our own static caster is a very good draw here. Yeah, I don't have I don't have any more legacy decks, Quarth. That's good. Jim is great. Oh, it's probably that's probably lights out. Yeah, I think I'm just like not gonna show them that I have Static Esther here. Yeah, it's a pretty big mistake on my part to like ditch lingering souls there. So Geist does something that the rest of this pile of grindy cards pretty much doesn't do, which is that it kills the opponent in a moderate, a moderate fashion. Like Geist is the type of card that often comes up short in matches where the boards get stalled, but this deck has so many Doom Blades in it that it doesn't really create board stalls. It keeps the opponent's board fairly trim. And Geist is a card that's very good when your opponent doesn't have a large board state. As sad as it is, I think I have to bottom that there. Do I ditch the path here? Or do I do I, do I ditch the pa a path or an anger here? The anger might be okay as like a safety valve. Like last game anger would have been like really good, right? I think I'm supposed to bend the path here.
Uh, green black is towards the top of the queue as far as uh, if you look I've sorted decks that are waiting on cards from guilds of Rav down towards the bottom of the queue They're not just up with the rest of the decks I'm just gonna helix the stork First game we've had mana issues in a while Missing our black source. We do have a faithless looting. We can flash back to dig for black mana next turn though We mulled to six and then faithless looting put us down a card like remember, Faithless Looting's not free. As much as, as much as people like to imply that Faithless Looting is free, it's really not free early. I chose not to flash back the Faithless Looting here because it felt like they were going to have a threat. Again, just want to keep my health a little high and keep the board clear. We are the Doomblade deck in this matchup. We just want to make sure we kill everything they play out so they can't establish a board presence or a clock. All right, now I think I want to go ahead and flash this back. Perfect. Um, I think at this point, I'm actually going di to ditch the anger. I think I just like want the instant speed interaction. It's actually a little awkward. I actually don't have a godless shrine in my mana base. Go ahead and fetch this now. So this is this is a spot where I'd like to note down that if I had a godless shrine, I would fetch it. You cannot nimble flashback. Flashback is an alternative casting cost. It is not an activated or triggered ability. Uh, I took this morning off. I only I was only live for a little bit this morning, so. I'm going to play a few leagues this evening. Probably trade this Muta Vault for a basic land tier. They have three cards in hand. It's the best thing I've nimbled. Lethal Exalted Trigger out of Infect. I then untapped and promptly drew Static Caster and won the game on the spot. It was great. Dire Fleet Daredevil. Are we Collective brutality me? That's rough. I assume we're Collective brutality me. Really? We're taking my Faithless Looting? Sure. Deal. Mind Slaver is such a huge tempo swing. Just like trade 3 for 10 mana. You can in fact escalate a flashback card. They ditch Dispel and Scalding Tarn. Their hand must be pretty good if they're ditching those. D. Brian, thank you for the 15 month resub there. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Yeah, Dire Fleet Sweet. It's uh it's pretty good against uh like Tarmogoyf decks for sure. I'm gonna go ahead and try and race here. Yeah, stifling cascade spells is like kind of awesome. Now, usually the storm, I've actually never stifled a storm trigger. Like, everybody's always like, oh man, you can stifle storm triggers. The actual answer is that, like, you probably want to be disrupting storms so they never get to the point where they're putting a storm trigger on the stack. That puts us pretty firmly behind in this race. So, like, really need to draw a Static Esther here. Is that a Dairy Queen Spoon? It is a, it is a Children's Spoon. 
I was out of clean. One of the things I did this afternoon was I cleaned my kitchen. I was out of spoons the other day. Jack G1, personal best was obstructionist. It's a suspend living end trigger. Nice. You are pretty far behind here at this point. Even Lingering Souls doesn't catch us back up because these things have first strike. I guess it like helps us race, but it's just like not super excited about the draw. Uh, the opponent's playing blue-red tempo with some dire fleet daredevils in the sideboard. They've been very good here. They're very good in these grindy style matchups where both players have a lot of spells. Like they're basically just like extra snapcaster mages for them, right? Because like our deck, our deck has a bunch of spells that they want to be flashing back anyways. I think I'm cashing these spirits in his game twos at this point. I guess I guess I can quad block here. Yeah, actually, I can do that, right? I can quad block and like trade two for this thing. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Go to seven. I like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly, right? Like, Daredevil is, like, extra absurd against our decks. Like, our deck is just, like, mono good spells. No, I want to I wanna quad block because triple block gets blown out by a lightning bolt. Like, if I, if I just triple block and they, like, have a single bolt, I, like, die pretty hard. I'm going to leave this spirit back here because, again, you always want to start chump blocking before it's lethal. And, like, my opponent's deck has a lot of burn spells in it, so, like, going to six is kind of scary. So, like, any of our helixes, our snapcaster mages, our call against commands, our brutalities. There's a lot of, lot of really, really great draws here. More lingering souls. At least opponent is also flooding, so that's nice. Faithless looting. This is why I've cleverly been holding these two lands in my hand. So I can look like absurdly smart and thin in a moment like this. I'm going to stop on my opponent. And actually, I'm going to do this now because so this is a good question. Do I snap Helix? Our opponent, my opponent showed me Spell Pierce last game. Do I play around Spell Pierce here? I'm probably supposed to play around Spell Pierce. I'm probably supposed to play around Spell Pierce. I'm gonna play around Spell Pierce. So like, the question is like, do I snap Path or do I snap Helix? The, the land is like pretty irrelevant at this point. The Helix, if it, like, resolves, like, locks the game up. But, like, if I break off after getting Spell Pierce, I, like, hate myself pretty badly. So there's there's definitely ups and downs to both. You could probably make the argument that there's more... That there's more Burn Spells than Spell Pierces in my opponent's deck. So I should play around Burn Spells by Helixing them. Maybe, maybe this is being too conservative. Like, they both lose to Mana Leak and Remand. Like, they probably only have, like, one or, like, two spell pierces at most. So there's a good chance I just, like, outplayed myself there. I'm going to leave back the spirit token as a blocker. I guess they have a snapcaster mage. Doesn't change my clock, really. Especially with this bolt draw. Yep. Yep. I like it. I like it. Send the message loud, loud and clear. Message, message received. Survey says, do I die because I played around Spell Pierce? I died because I played around Spell Pierce. Yeah, I definitely, I think I should have played the Helix. I think, I think as I was doing it, I talked myself, talked myself out of it. But I played that really well. Dire Fleet Devil was very, very good. Very, very good. Easy mulligan here.
Mala Draw, I have a Scry. My deck is like all Doom Blades, right? So if we just like draw a couple of Doom Blades, this hand is really good. Land. There's a Doom Blade. Who's a good little Doom Blade? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. All right, so ideally, the first two lands you want to get when you're playing this deck is you want to get Blood Crypt into Hollowed Fountain because Blood Crypt, Hollowed Fountain casts both Lightning Helix and, uh, blah, 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 blah. what's the card called? Um, the Negate. Let's go on seven. I'm doing well. Ooh. This matchup is a little scurry. Counter Squall, that's the other one. The one I've heard the kids talk about. I don't have a ton of great interaction for this matchup. I've got like a Miser Alpine Moon here. I've got I've got Damping Spheres more than anything, so I want to hedge storm more than. I mean we're not really dead. Maybe their Valica deck is defective and they won't have it on six. They always have it on six. Holy gosh, that is. That is a Mulvoli Acid Moss. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. That is. Yep. Nah, it's a current Dry Builder and Cinderglade generally indicate Velikut. Show me. Show me where Tron made you angry. I like that we ban Splinter Twin, but we can't ban Primeval Titan. When Primeval Titan's a problem, we ban Summer Bloom. When Splinter Twin's a problem, we ban Splinter Twin. Thanks, Watsy. <laughs> All right, let's get these in here. Uh, Call Against Command is pretty bad here. Uh, Full Manor Mage. So this is, I would like to talk, I would like to talk about Full Manor Mage and how it pertains to this matchup for like a hot second. Are we sideboard bugged? I think we're sideboard bugged. Think we're sideboard bugs, magic online quality software. No, are we good? Are we good? Maybe. I won't it won't let me board in. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely sideboard bugged. As you can see here, there are 17 cards here and 59 cards here. But uh I've registered 75 cards in this league. File for comp for Ah, uh, Valag. Four color Geist League. Well, at least it's free. All right, I'm gonna click submit and then we'll find out what's actually in our deck. So this is the fun part. I don't actually know what's in our deck right now. Nah, they're not gonna question. I've got I've got a video. If they question I've got this is all recorded, I can go go back. If we're not boarded, I'm gonna concede. Alright, so I've got 60 cards in my deck. I don't know if they're an optimal 60, but we've got a 60. And if we lose, the league is free. So it's just like a free roll at this point. We do have Fulminator Mage. Sorry, so Fulminator Mage, what I was going to say before um, before Moto decided to do Moto things. Um, Fulminator Mage, while is it's kind of okay in this matchup, the thing you have to remember is that casting Stone Rain against the deck that's literally 42 mana sources generally is not a winning proposition for you. Generally, generally speaking, they are going to have way more lands than we have Stone Rains. Thank you for the bit sender. I appreciate it. The question here becomes now that I've drawn the two only two tap lands in my deck, do I want to play Lingering Souls or I want to play Fulminator Mage next turn? I think I want to go Creeping Turpin into Lingering Soul and uh, Fulminator next turn. 
Tater Tot Shinobibu. Thank you for the brand new Prime support. There's a lot of great people making a lot of great stuff on Twitch right now. Thanks for supporting mine this month with that. Well, that's incredibly annoying. Or are they not? Are they not doing it? Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give yeah, yeah, the SCG meter is filled. I have a I have a plane ticket booked. I'll be getting into Roanoke Thursday, Thursday, early afternoon, late morning, I forget, and then leaving Tuesday morning. Mm, that's a good way to look at it, Extras. If I'd have drawn Tar Pit on three, I would have wanted to play that. That's definitely our best way to steal a match like this. It's like play our most aggressive card on three. So they're going to their fourth land this turn, which means they go fifth land next turn. So I could probably wait a turn to collect a Brutality them. Hmm. Probably going to want to Stone Rain them to keep them off of Titan Mana next turn. I think I want to Stone Rain to keep them off of Titan Mana. Yeah, my article on uh, CoolStuffInc.com tomorrow, or sorry, Wednesday, will be decks that I have been thinking about in Standard. Play my Stone Rain, Stone Rain you. And you know what? I probably should have gotten rid of the Fulminator Mage there. Because I might have been in a position to snap back the Helix at some point this game. Yep, they only have one card left here. Hopefully we draw a land and then I can I can collect a Brutality plus Fulminator Mage. I don't know what the card Experimental Frenzy does without looking it up. It's going to have more off. Yeah, I wasn't on for very long this morning, so I wanted to come back and give it another shake. I assume Experimental Frenzy is a I don't know I don't know what the the latest that is in MTGO bot. All right. I think I'm supposed to stone rain them again here and then just be super tilted when they rip a Titan next turn anyways. Rip a land and Titan me. So like the problem is if I play the collective brutality this turn instead of stone raining them, if they have primeval titan, I just like die on the spot, right? Just like can never win. Alright, they don't have primeval titan. That's a good that's a good step one for us. Do I need more land here? I don't think so. I'm going to attack for two before I play the Collective Brutality. And the reason why I'm doing this is this way my opponent has a Lightning Bolt. If they have a Bolt, they're probably going to Bolt my Spirit in response. So I'd prefer they that I get to attack with the Spirit before they do that. I think I'm going to discard this Blood Crypt here. Well, well that is incredibly unfortunate for us. That is incredibly unfortunate dead to a land dead to search for tomorrow dead to prismatico man well there's no difference between 18 and 16 extras but i was going to get to snapcaster the collective brutality next turn which would put me which would put me to 20 and there is a difference between 18 and 20 so I think draining there is pretty meaningful. Because I'm going to get to drain again the following turn and gain more health. 
For those that aren't familiar with how the opponent's deck wins, once they have the Prismatic Omen in play, they get to cast Scape Shift because their mountains now make green mana because of Prismatic Omen, and they get a bunch of Valakuts out of their deck and deal a bunch of damage to us. Yeah, but again, Twerk and Rogue, I was I was focusing on using the Fulminator Mages to keep them off of Primeval Titan, which again, you just like can't play around all the things. Love watching from, I don't know how to pronounce that word, Ed Adelaide? Ed is it Adelaide? Maybe? Best MTG broadcaster. At any rate, thank you for the three months of support. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me employed here. Could you like a just guy impersonation for a hot second? Uh, you can read about my thoughts on Assassin's Trophy in Green, Black, and Modern on my article on Cold Stepping from two weeks ago, which you can find from clicking that link there. Valakut decks are a lot like Tron in that they are absurdly good against decks that are trying to play Honest Magic, and they are rancid unplayable against decks that are not trying to play Honest Magic. So they're just like, one of the worst things to have in the format. They just like, punish, they punish people for doing honest things, and they reward people for just like, trying to ignore their opponent. So from a, generates like, quality and interactive games of Magic standpoint, they're just the stone cold worst in every direction. Storm? Her hand is okay against Storm. I don't know that it's okay against Pyromancer's Ascension, though. It's kind of scary. Do I want a Collective Brutality here? They have another Serum Visions. It saves us a counter on this long term. I also just have, like, infinite lands at the moment. So, like, I don't mind just, like, binning one to escalate my brutality. Keep on fighting the good meme fight. Spartan Commander, thank you for the four months there. So, re up in your Bezo Bucks here. I appreciate that. Could also be Jeskai Thing Ascension at the moment, which means the Path to Exile is important. Uh, we didn't play Vintage. We sat in the queue for 10 minutes and we dropped and played a different format. It is Traditional Storm. And they are, in fact, just playing Pyromancer Ascension in the main deck. Interesting. Sirius Less, thank you for the thank you for the brand new Bezo Bucks there. Thanks for keeping me employed. I appreciate it. Storm. Storm with Ascension in the main. What year is up? I think if they drew a Mana Morphos, we could theoretically die here. Uh, it's a decent pickup. Is this deck better than normal Grixis? Well, like, normal Grixis really isn't a deck that sees a lot of play right now. So I don't know they have a very good metric for that. Oh, did he have two in the main? I think I want to hold on to the snap for a hot second. Ditch those, shock this, pass. For those of you that are new and just joining, asking about stuff, all my stuff gets archived on my YouTube channel, so you can find find all the replays afterwards. We tag where all the matches are at, so you can find just the matches that you missed earlier in the stream. Super convenient, everything is broken up on there by deck. All right, and definitely, definitely just need to establish a clock at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and snap both them. 
I'm a poor boo. I'm a poor boo the happy. I'm a poor butt happy, maybe. Thank you for the thank you for the Twitch Prime. No, guild, guilds will be live on Magic Online on Thursday this week. Uh, I might not be able to get cards for Constructed until a day or two after that, but we will have guilds. Guilds will be able to play guild sealed events on Thursday this week. I'm poor but happy. Listen, all I'm going to say is if a streamer ever butchers your username with multiple with multiple words in it and your name doesn't have every letter laid out properly. All I'm going to say is Twitch supports capitalization in your username and it's your fault. You're the one that did it incorrectly. Don't don't put that juju on me. Don't don't do it. It's not my fault. Look at this. Look at this. Look here now. Look at there. See how the, the, the Hogland has a capital H? Why am I on so late? Because this morning stream went really poorly and I ended early because I was salty. So I decided to come back on after I went to the gym. Feeling better. Exercise always makes me happy. It's weird. Endorphins work that way. Uh, you can prime sub from Android on mobile. You cannot prime sub from iOS because it's telling you to get a real mobile device. Need more Linux in your life. So they have Baral, Desperate Ritual, and then one card I don't know. If they're able to get these ascensions online, we're probably dead. It's not very interesting, King. We just played Legacy, and it was terrible. And I remind, remembered why I don't play Legacy. So so we stopped. Why is this deck good? Look at all the sweet cards we have. How can this deck not be good? They have another, they have another Ritual. That's so incredibly unfortunate for us. So they get to opt, so they're, they're digging for a Manamorphose at this point. No, Android, Android runs a Linux kernel. Linux is a kernel and Android runs a Linux kernel. It has a Java abstraction layer for any applications on top of the Linux kernel, but it's definitely a Linux kernel. They get to triple, triple opt here. Looks like we're gonna be a turn too slow here. This is why, this is why there's damping. Damping spheres in our sideboard are not good against Falco Titan. They are great here. Yeah, I iOS is Unix. Right, I'm just going to concede here. We're not deterministically done at this point, but we might as well be. Um's games. Look at that. Look at that. Camel casing. God bless. Thank you for those Bezo bucks. I appreciate that. Welcome. So we get to bring in the wet balls. We get to bring in the wear tear and the hide seek. Culligan's Command is pretty slow here. Lingering Souls is pretty slow. I'm going to bring the last Hide Seek here. Counter Squall is pretty reasonable. I'm actually going to trim a Faithless Looting. Because I'm trimming the Lingering Souls, the Looting's kind of have... Although, I guess Path to Exile is pretty bad here. Maybe I just trim Path. I'm going to do that instead. I just want my code to re be readable, and camel casing helps things be readable. There's only one way to find out, MTG Burn player. It, it's modern. Everybody everybody does everything all the time. It's like when we play against the same deck two matches in a row on stream and people are like, oh my god, is there a resurgence of Merfolk? It's just like, no, we just like happen to run into two of the 20 people playing Merfolk on Magic Online in a row. I 
This seems like not absurd, but it does the classic basic, the classic creeping tar pit, you know, hide opener. It should be in your setting somewhere, Ender. Am I gonna play AOS champions on the ladder? I am, I am a proud member of the bronze ranking on the Age of Sigmar champions ladder. I played a few matches while I was on the treadmill at the gym today. A fierce, fierce competitor down in bronze. You better watch it, I'm coming for you. Would you ever cast a Seek part on that card? I don't know. So the reason people often ask about this card, the reason why you play Hide Seek instead of just a bunch of Wear Terror is because of the Hide part of Hide Seek. So the Hide part of Hide Seek is important because it doesn't destroy the card that you're doing. So it gets around things like Hangerback Walkers, Dice Triggers, and it gets to ignore Welding Jar. So the, the Seek is kind of whatever you can like, Bring this in against burn is like a gain three i guess but the reason why you're playing this is so you have a way to you have a way to get around stuff basically around regeneration gets around worm coil too look at all of my completely reasonable and castable spells chat i challenge you to find a deck that has more reasonable and castable spells All right, kill me. Fair decks in general in Magic refer to decks that don't finish with a combo kill. So they don't they don't kill with a grape shot. They don't kill with a pyrite spellbond loop. They they win by attacking and blocking with honest creatures over the course of several turns, generally speaking. No, Kiki Cord's just a bad deck. It's not a fair deck, it's just a bad deck. Tron is classified as a big mana deck, if you want to talk about fair and unfair, which I definitely think it's closer to the unfair side of the spectrum. The King of Hoglandia with the big 150 donation. Three Sultai control leagues to figure out what the best list is. 10 out of 10. Thank you for the support as always, Justin. You're absurd. Look at that, chat. Look at that. You get to kill their thing and take a card out of their hand. It's like, it's like Christmas. I'm gonna bin this Faithless looting. Another braid. I'm just gonna take the opt. They have another barrel. It doesn't. Kiki is an unfair deck. It is a it is a creature combo deck. All right. I'll just take your banana hammock and swing it around like we mean business here. This is my banana hammock. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Nineteen months. That's like three times as long as I was married. How are we still together? Oh, Matthew. <laughs> oh, Maddie. I'm excited for Columbus. I'm glad I'm glad you're able to get time off and we can drive together. Don't cast past in flames. Don't do it. Have a heart. Have a heart. 
thing in the ice. You want to show me your titties, opponent? Why? Why must you show me your titties? It's so offensive. That's what I think about your titties. Take your titties and put them where the sun don't shine. Get it out of here. Get it gone. So they have a breed plus burrell here. Thing in the ice is a reason to bring my fourth path to exile back in. They're at nine here. Like we can't cast most of our spells, but like they are at nine. And like I have this counter squall too. So we're actually like not in that bad of a spot for not having red mana, huh? Opponent's draw has just like been thoroughly rancid. God bless us, everyone. So they have another Burrell, so there really isn't a compelling reason to bolt this dork. Um, bolt plus Counter Squall is lethal, so definitely just passing here. This is a PG stream. Everything I said in that sentence can be said on network television, Cloud Azir. Thank you very much. JBot, thank you for the seven month three subscription. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Jeff limited me to only three decks in the queue at the time. It seems so unfair. <laughs> oh, poor Justin. Your life is tough, Justin. How about if we counter squall this and then lightning bolt you? Little did the Storm player know he had played right into my trap card, ending up dead. Yeah, I assume thing is in their sideboard. Alright, I'm gonna bring this Path to Exile back in. Uh, I'm gonna trim a Hide Seek. They have to, like, give something up, and it feels like they have to give up some Ascensions, I'd assume. Just gonna run it. Let's run it like that. Hello, wife. You're hungry. I'm American, so I could eat. Are we ordering takeout, or are we making something? I don't know how to I don't know how to cook. At least she's honest. That's why I love her chat, because she's honest. I know how to order things online, though. You know how to order things online. I'm really good at it. Uh, Baja mac and cheese. That's true. They drive the Baja mac and cheese to our house. It's kind of delicious. This can't be a keep, right? I have these faithless lootings, though. The Fun fact, it's a J that makes the H sound in Baja. The Pleasant Muff Puffin, thank you for the brand new Prime support. Thanks for shipping those Bezo bucks this way this month. And McCullough, thank you for the Tier 2 resub for five months. I appreciate that. Be sure to uh, drop me a message. Let me know which deck you'd like to bump in the queue. Tier 2 subs get to bump a deck every month. So what do we think here? We think that this card looks dumb sideways. <laughs> it does look dumb sideways. If only this was some kind of fancy digital application that could put it the right way in my hand. At, le at least when I zoom, it turns the right way. We've got that going for us. All right. Figure out whatever you would like to eat. I would like something too. Do you want to say hi to dad and the internet? Can you say... Hi, Internet. You want to say hi? It's been a while since you've been on stream. Hi, Internet. Say hi, Internet. Hi. hi. All right. All right. <laughs> Out they go. All right. Can you close that door? Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to keep this. I'm going to keep this. We're going to, like, get Blood Moon done turn two and, like, hate ourselves, but I'm going to keep this. Maybe we'll just, like, rip a second land right away and it'll be fine. While Kenobi is here, what's your opinion on Death Attacks is in modern? It is a collection of inherently weak cards that relies on synergies to win, which leaves it leaving a lot to be desired a lot of the time. That's, that's as fair and honest as a take as I can give on that card. That archetype. Uh, 
All right, so I'm gonna grab Blood Crypt here. This is, uh, this is not going according to plan, chat. We're supposed to, we're supposed to draw a land in that, that set of cards there. Oh. I did miss your bits, Justin. I think you're gonna play Zada and Silver for Partesian this month. Might want, I was gonna say, I don't know what either of those cards do, so that sounds par for the course. You do, you do get your, you do get your no questions asked list every month. Okay. Okay. So we're cooking with gas here. Dig for path to exile. Okay, we found a geist. I think I'm gonna ditch Counter Squall Collective Brutality here. For decks to pick in modern, you can find a bunch of my favorite modern decks on my website, jeffhoagland.com forward slash decklist. It's all nice, nice and tidy in there for your accessibility. Towards Bridgevine, we'll do McCullough. Thanks for the support. Justin, I want you to know that it had been so long since you added a deck to the queue that I was, I was working towards getting the queue unfrozen at record speed. I thought I, I thought, I thought we were gonna be unfrozen very soon. I was, I was worried. I want to get Sacred Foundry here. I can double bolt this on my turn. Or we could just do that. Bye, friend. So, I need to draw blue source here. What is what is a Hugo professional emote look like though? How is that how is that represented in a 28 pixel by 28 pixel space? Is the, is the issue. There's a lot of really sweet fun ideas for potential emotes, but the issue is that most of them don't translate into 28 pixels by 28 pixels. The king of Hoaglandia with a $50 donation. I'm just gonna drop Zada and the silver fur parties at the end of the queue and let chat decide how fast we play it. Build the deck with those stipulations. Zada and silver for, oh, 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 I have to build this, okay. So I'm gonna ask, do I know when the queue will be unfrozen? It's tough to know for sure, cause like, like Justin just added, added four decks to the queue, right? So I theoretically play 20 to 25 decks a week is the number I theoretically play. But things things like Justin adding decks tend to muddle that a little bit. Am I supposed to double bolt this in response here? I probably am. I get like dispelled and hate myself or remanded. 
It's a shame we didn't draw blue source to wow that worked god bless all right Well, I assume now this is the part where they kill us with pest and flames Skirt, thank you very much for the brand new twitch prime support there. I appreciate that. Welcome Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that Why are you throwing shade at me? I've been holding myself back. <laughs> I'm always happier playing playing modern than other formats. I'm not dead yet. I I probably not burn player. I try not to play things that are just like bad for the sake of being cute. And like bobble doesn't sound like it does anything useful for burn. This is definitely glacial compared to 2x YouTube. And the question is, do they have the grape shots already or are they digging for them? That's so, it's so many backup plans. Makes it pretty hard as the, and this is just like a good example of like one of the ways the combo decks can punish interactive decks like what we're doing, right? Like I'm, I'm holding cards like this, like trying to be prepared for the Ascension plan. And like, do I bring in cards that could potentially be good against goblins? Do I bring in cards that are good against Thing in the Ice? Like there's so, so many different ways that the Storm deck was coming at us that without an established clock, it really wasn't able to get anything off the ground. We're gonna play the last one in this league. We're one and three at the moment. We would have been two and two if I would have made a better play in the second round. Valakut matchup's tough the way this deck is configured. When you play when you play interactive decks like this, you have to make concessions to beat specific things, and like the concessions I have in my sideboard definitely are not ideal against Valakut. Again, I really like dis I dislike focusing on the record regardless of winning or losing because so many matches in modern are just like so in magic in general are just like so particularly close, right? Like we we were a choose the a better spell with Snapcaster Mage away from having an entire, you know, being 50% here. I don't know if there was anything I could have done against those other two, but like the difference between one and three and two and two is just like clicking on a different card in my discard pile. It's like very small and marginal. This is a good start. We get to pretend we're Mardu Power Mancer for a hot second. It's like Blood Crypt looting, ditch two souls. No, I'm going to wait and test them, I think, Seth. I think that makes the most sense after thinking about it some more. Maybe some. I don't know about all. Yeah, CG Con should be fun. All right, this hand is uh, kind of mediocre here, actually. Uh, that's a that's a good pickup. Um, the guy, this is one of the many matches where Geist of Saint Traft is pretty terrible. So it's a it's a matchup where it's not going to get to attack inefficiently. But we do have a faithless looting in the discard pile here, so we're gonna get to loot past it, which is nice. I'm gonna fetch Hollowed Fountain untapped here, and then Lightning Helix, the champion of the parish. Desert Fox, thank you very much for the brand new Prime support there. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. So we'll end up at 17 when all is said and done here. It says, as a mid-range deck in this format, mid-range decks kind of thrive on roll assessment. So this is definitely one of the matches where we are the control deck. We want to just be like spending our cards every single turn, killing everything our opponent puts into play. And then eventually once the dust settles after a couple of two for ones, we'll be able to push our way through. We're going to grab a basic mountain here. Now, uh, I think I'm actually going to, am I going to drain with this? That's probably loose. It's probably, I'm probably too high of a health total to drain with that, especially when I have a looting in the bin. Wraith PK, thank you for the six month resub there. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me employed here. So pretty good curve here from us, especially being on the play. We have to Helix the first one, Brutality this. Assuming they don't play another Thalia out, next turn we'll be able to Lightning Bolt something fl plus Flashback Lingering Souls, generating that really important like double spell turn. <clears throat> I 
Evening Saw 3. And I am going to go ahead and play this land out because, like, I have these geists that I already want to discard to this looting, most likely. Fetch a tap land here, probably Watery Grave. Gets me a second black and a second blue. Nice Kate Sale Freebooter. Enjoy. <clears throat> Since they're looking at our hand anyways here, I'm just going to go ahead and fetch and then auto pass. No reason to not get some F6 value here. Actually, I don't really need double black, right? Double white is probably more valuable. Yeah, double white's probably more valuable than double black, double blue. You have a lieutenant, meddling mage maybe. So they know we have these geists, but we also have looting and souls in our discard pile. So this meddling mage should go a couple different ways. Honestly, it should probably name Faithless Looting. Geist to St. Draft, deal. That is, that is quite good for us. I, I already didn't really want to cast these. Like I was kind of already planning on like doing this anyways. But like, bye. Seems decent for us. I mean, humans actually doing a lot of really interesting things. I mean, most tribal decks aren't particularly interesting. The only the only reason you probably think humans is boring from your your subjective standpoint is because you've seen it a bunch at this point. Like humans is arguably has a lot more play and bobbing and weaving going on than like every other tribe in the format. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna the king of Hoglandia with a forty dollar donation. I feel like we should play Jeskai Terminus next thoughts. <sighs> if you if you really want to make me play Jeskai Terminus next, I will, Justin. But I, I'm really not feeling hollowed fountains today. I'll do it for you because you have a crown and I appreciate you. So your your choice. Let me know. You want to play Just Guy next? We can do Just Guy next. Agree to disagree. <laughs> if you would have said I'm lazy and don't want to have a discussion with you anymore, that would be fine. But agree to disagree is just lazy. Have a have a discussion. Engage. Why did you why did you even post in chat if you didn't want to have a discussion? Oh wait, you just wanted to fling poop and let other people know your opinion. That's useless. Get out of here. Counter squall, that's so good against humans. I, I think I'm just leaving these back for now because we're so far behind in this race. Really need to like draw another looting or something. I'd be happy to do Jeskai first thing tomorrow, Justin. If that would make you happy. Reflector Mage, that is incredibly rude. Sure, but what you can have, Nye, is a discussion about what they think makes humans boring as opposed to other tribal decks in modern. Like, what are, what is humans doing differently that makes them define it as boring? Because they weren't explicitly saying humans is boring. They were saying explicitly humans is the most boring tribal deck in modern. So what, what about humans makes it boring? 
Is it is it boring because it's actually good and most other tribal decks in modern are steaming piles of garbage and you like steaming piles of garbage? Sure, I would accept that. This is a spoon. I just I whenever I whenever I hit my hand on something, I just like can't help but play with it. I had a marker sitting here the other day and I was doing the same. Yeah, it's got it's got interaction, it's got it's got counterplay to it. The humans deck has an absurd amount going on. I, I would I would bet money that that person thinks humans is boring because they lose to it because it's a good deck. I'm leaving back four spirits here because if my opponent draws a Thalia's Lieutenant, I want to be able to quad block this Reflector Mage. I, I'm going to intentionally not counter squall that. I'll do Jeskai Terminus, Justin. I'd rather do that one. I'm going to do Jeskai Terminus. We'll do, we'll do that one next. You know what my favorite is when people get timed out and then they then they start messaging me privately complaining. So I have a permanent ban and go on my ignore list. Bye friend. Mantis Rider, scary. Wow, why didn't they attack? I guess it keeps my thing at bay. Gosh, my hand has become poop. Just the poopiest soup of poop. Looking for, looking for one of them busto cards like Faithless Looting to hammer things out here. I don't feel like playing bad decks today, Justin. Part of the thing that put me in a bad mood this morning was that after getting stomped playing bad decks in Legacy, we played a bad deck in Modern. I was just really off it. So I would, I'd prefer to play decks that are like somewhat reasonable. Does that, does that make sense? And the, the Jeskai deck is like very reasonable. It's just grindy. All right. I think this Helix probably puts us pretty firmly ahead here. Assuming assuming they don't have a... As their last card is Thalia's Lieutenant, we could get God here. It was not a good scene, Hippity. It was not... It was not a good scene. Humans doesn't have an identity. Well, boring as a tribe and boring as a deck are different, right? Or am I am I wrong in thinking those are different things? You're, I, I agree with you from a flavor standpoint. They're dry because they don't do one thing. I I agree with that. But from a from a game from a gameplay perspective, I actually think humans is one of the most interesting tribes in modern because of the flexibility and interaction and choices that it gives you to make. I'm going to leave this back to be a touch conservative here. Uh, our opponent's drawn a bunch of lands, and we have also drawn a bunch of lands. Fetching the thin is pretty statistically insignificant, generally speaking. And a point of health actually is not insignificant in this game. A point of health could be the matter between dying and not dying.
I think Hide and Seek is great at getting around Welding Jar, which has become a staple in every deck that plays artifacts in the format. This can't possibly be good for me. Okay, I have to pump the brakes here, actually. They very clearly have another creature here. I'm brushing up on my John Avon, my John Avon skills, draw and lands. Faithless learning, faithless learning. I mean, as far as like, okay draws go, that was towards the top, right? It's like not faithless looting, but it's like not terrible. I have a collective brutality I can escalate here. So I get to kill Kite Sail Freebooter, plus put them to two, and then I get to attack them. I get to attack them for two, and then they're dead on board next turn. Lido, thank you for the seven month resub there. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thank you for the continued support. Yeah, any any deck with Temple Garden and Reclamation Sage is going to start playing Knight. Knight of Autumn instead of Reclamation Sage. It's an easy swap. Pretty Pretty good upgrade for them. Is it worth it to arrest them just to have a peek? That's an interesting question. Yeah, I probably probably should have just been to Sacred Foundry there. No, you were supposed to cast Aether Vial so I could kill you. Yeah, like, when I didn't squall the first Aether Vial, it was because I didn't have a lot of blanks in my hand at the time, and, like, the Aether Vial didn't really matter, and I wanted to be able to loot that away should I draw Faithless Looting, is basically what it came down to. So this is a matchup where the counter spells and the Geist of St. Trashes are really bad. These are great. Do they just leave a couple of Geists in for closing? Yeah, it's like two Geists for closing seems fine. I think that's better than bringing in a Shatter. Yeah, that's better than bringing in a Shatter. You did just hear Geist of St. Trash. Loving, lovingly, it's a, it's a, it's a term of endearment. Didn't see you coming back like, yeah, I'm doing well, Blackwell. Exercise, exercise always makes me feel better. Endorphins are great. So with Jeskai Control getting bumped to be next, I'm probably not gonna get to four decks tonight just because I don't wanna be up late. It's part of the reason why this morning was tough is because I've been up late a lot over the weekend. So we're gonna finish up this last match here with this deck and then we're gonna we're gonna play some Jeskai control and then some black white tokens I think to wrap things up. 
This deck's sweet. Uh, I think this is our fourth league with this deck. Four, four sounds right. Mardu blue, Jeskai black, Esper red. Like, why, why limit yourself? There's so many, so many different ways we could, we could phrase it. Did the chat spam salt this morning? No, they were, they were very nice. This deck needs more tribal flames, maybe. It's a very rude Thalia. It is a very rude Thalia. I well, fetch Blood Crypt here untapped, I think. He cast this Faithless Looting. Definitely don't need a backup Tassiger. Probably go Hollowed Fountain tapped next turn. Oh, actually, you know what? I can fetch next turn and can delve out Tassiger. Seems pretty good. Niv, thanks for the tree fitty. Moist Mardu or go home. It's so, it's so moist. It's so moist, chat. I love how, I love how moist it is. All right, so do I play, do I play Tassiger or do I... Do I flashback Lingering Souls? I guess the Lingering Souls cost me three mana anyway, so I'm just gonna play the Tassiger. You play Tassiger for two reasons. Well, the first is that it's cheaper to put into play. Having to delve one less card, especially in a deck like this that wants to use its graveyard as a resource for things like Lingering Souls and Faithless Looting, that's not irrelevant. The second thing is that we're not an all-in aggro deck. This is a mid-range deck that often has more controlling draws, and you activate Tassiger and draw cards with him pretty consistently with this archetype. This is one of the many decks that you can find a bunch of deck lists of on my website. So if you go to jeffhoagland.com, you can find a bunch there. I like this deck a lot. So we're getting we're getting hit down to five here, which is unfortunate, which because I have to shock to three next turn to cast the Sanger of the Gods, which feels bad. So that means I am, yes, that's such a good draw. It's a good draw because it means I get to cast Anger without going to three. So I am not dead to a Mantis Rider off the top. If I had to shock here, we would have been dead to Mantis Rider off the top. But now, now we are not and it is awesome. It's a very smart and thin draw, I agree. Three cards left in hand, but the Horizon Canopy in play replaces itself with potentially action, which is relevant. Meddling Mage. It'd have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for those meddling kids. I'm watching on YouTube since you had music and the Avatar of Greed thing. The music even predates Avatar of Greed. It's a long time. Welcome, welcome, Brian Steiner. What do we got here? Do we have another? Do we have another Mantis Rider? Gosh, that's so brutal. They chose Lightning Bolt. You chose Lightning Bolt, opponent. What if I told you the gods were still incredibly angry with you? And Path to Exile here is great because it means that I don't die to the fourth Mantis Rider next turn. There's no music on the stream for two reasons. One is that I don't own a license to broadcast radio music like a lot of people do. Whenever you open anybody's, anybody's past broadcast and their streams are muted, that means that person has stolen music that they don't have permission to broadcast on their Twitch channel and they're being muted to hopefully prevent Twitch from being sued. Um, the second is that the punk, pop, bad 90s music that I love to listen to isn't stuff that everybody else would love to listen to. So even if I had a license to stream with music legally, I probably wouldn't because I would lose viewers because, you know, you thought everybody's going to be into the same music I'm into and that's okay. I love Blink-182, Blink-182, Paramore, like all that stuff. It's fantastic. I mean, Path to Exile, 
it's weird. Although I guess I guess I left up white, right? So that I left up white, which signifies path to exile. That makes that makes a lot of sense. Because last time they named lightning bolt, but I guess I did kind of telegraph the path there, right? Yeah, Caleb, Caleb is a, a great content producer, arguably, you know, the best on Twitch, if not one of the best, especially for Magic. And there are times where even when he's playing Modern, which is the format I most like to watch, I have to turn his stream off because of the music. It's just like not my thing. The Static Caster is going to be the stones here. It's very good. These Lingering Souls, unless they have a copy of Kessig Malcolm Tent, which some of these decks still do. It's less common these days, but some of them do. Um, well, this this is not going to end well for you, opponent. I've got I've got some bad news, and uh, you're. Your lieutenant, this might be a concession, Static Caster chat. If you want to listen to the type of music that I listen to, this is one of my gym, this is one of my gym music stations. So... We went two and three in matches played in that league. Uh, I think we we definitely would have been three and two had I flashback the right spell in game three against um, against the blue red tempo burn deck. Uh, this deck just consistently produces good games of magic. The one the one major issue this deck has that I don't think is fixable is that it's off to Blood Moon, and I really hate I really hate losing to Blood Moon. Um, Things, I think this main deck is great. I don't think I would touch this main deck. I think it's well balanced. I think Faithless Looting lets you play like these mix up cards that are sometimes bad and like not get punished for it. As far as the sideboard goes, the sideboard, especially with the new set that's being released, Unmoored Ego is a card that's being added. It's being added to the format. Um, these, these cards, these are kind of the cards pick. These are the pick which combo decks and big mana decks and whatever else decks you want to beat. These are the these are those cards. So these could be these could be egos, these could be more alpine moons, these could be stony silences. So basically, dealer's choice, what what do you want to beat with these slots? And then these cards beat those. I think the angers and the static casters are um i'm just i just won't do that justin it's it's a legal thing it's uh it's a i don't have rights to do it so i shouldn't be doing it type thing uh so i think i'm pretty confident you want these angers and these static casters um i like the hide seek where terror split again you're not playing this for the seek half the hide half gets around things like welding jar which i think is pretty important in a lot of matchups um so I think I'm pretty happy with these. But again, so like these are basically pick, pick the combo decks you want to beat and then then try and beat those with those slots. All right, so let's import this Jeskai Terminus deck. And then we're going to grab cards for the Jeskai Terminus deck as well as um, black white tokens. We're going to wrap today up with those. Probably, probably another three or so hours. That is a lot of logic nuts. Alpine Moon is good against Valakut and Tron. How many blue sources are in this deck? If there's less than 19 blue sources, I'm cutting some of these logic knots. God bless. 20 blue sources. Look at that. Someone that has a little respect. Understands how math works. All right, I'll play. I'll play some logic knots. Mm 